places to go. Who wants to go and see? Oh, here he is. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, mate. You've been been without no, me already. No. Have you been have you no. been cheating on with no. you? me? Me, me. Adam, what is this? Have you been this going is what I have to part with every day. Look at the state of my van, Literally. and it's all in Adam's side. He's been going it. without me. Get, get me rubbish, put in your bin. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick it in now, mate. <laughs> Adam's finally turned up. God, this, do ten. this doctor, he Got a says... long way to go today, and that's not taking the mickey we have. We have, actually, yeah. Um, Where are we going? Adam's got rid of his rubbish. I'm not saying we're going. We're going to... It's a surprise for the viewer. Surprise! If you would have seen on Instagram, you would have seen already where we've been and where we come back from. Mm -hmm. But this is... That's for our Instagram you, you, um, viewers, so... Mm -hmm. This arrived this week, Adam. What is it? Oh, have a look, and you'll see. A black neck t-shirt. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, ho, ho, Skullmore, yes! Ben, Ben, Yeah, ben. that was for you. You didn't give me one. Did he actually just give me one? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. How come you didn't give They said give that to Adam? Yeah. Seriously? Adam. Yeah. Cheers, Ben. So, I'm going to go and come and grab you, Alex. And I'm, I want my one. Cheers, Ben. Oh, look at that. This, Thanks, mate. This is Adam's last week with me. Yeah. It's been good, isn't it? As an unpaid um, apprentice. Yeah. As an un unpaid skivvy. Next week, <laughs> he starts as a paid skivvy. Ma on Monday, isn't it? Monday, Can yeah. Can you believe it? That's Can be you good. believe it? Monday fun day. It's going to be big start. Mate, I'm dreading it? it. I'm dreading it. It's going to be... <laughs> It'd be exactly oh. the same, isn't it, to be honest. So we've got hour and eight minutes, it says there, on a sat-nav. Yeah. So that's how long we've got to go. 48.4 miles. Exciting start. Have a guess. We're in Northampton. Where are we going? Hmm. Put your guesses down below that, and we'll see if you're right. That actually gives a lot of options. Exactly. That That is like, you've got north, south, east or west within We, we might even be going to, going to north Northampton. <laughs> so that, that, that's how long it takes to get to the other side of all the roadworks. That could be London, that could be Cambridge, slash... Um, Who we got? We've got Swap Jordan, um, we've got Artisan, we've got Dave Savory, yeah. we've got... Uh, Kim and Sparks. Kim Delroy even. Uh, got that guy over in Oxford, CJR. CJR, yeah. You've got Gifford. Gifford. He's over that way as well, hasn't he? Got We've Gifford. got oh, Bundy. Bundy. A little bit out of Bundy's. I don't think we'll get there in an hour, so that's a little bit of a clue. It's not Bundy. Yeah, um, unfortunately. Nick, where are you, man? Could be going to could see, see Ben, Ben, Ben. <laughs> could be seeing Amy the Spark. Amy the Spark, yeah. Loads of people, but we might be doing, doing a double bluff here. So, have a guess down below. Ooh, where are we going? And at the end of this video, you'll see if you're right. Bing. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Where are we going? Is there road markings as well? Let's have a look. Oh, in 40 South. We're in the South Lane, mate. Oh, bummed. Oh, you're in the wrong lane? Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. Dean. Adam. Oh, you wouldn't get Bundy doing that, would you? So we're in Oxford, Doc. Yep. Oh. Who do we know in Oxford? CJ. Um, yeah, we know a few people. My mate Chris. Yep. CJR. Whitney. Oh, so we're in Whitney in Oxford. Share. Lovely. We're in Whitney in Oxford, Sussexshire. Oxford, Sussexshire. You'll know that if you know Mark and Lard. Who remembers Mark and Lard? No, not me. Biggity, biggity, bong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably just talking to myself now. I mean, Big, people don't even know what that means. Like, what you talking Come on, about, please give me a like if you know what that means. What you talking about, Doc? No. What's up, Doc? Have you lost your mind? Legends of the radio, they were. Legends of the radio. Oh, that is McDonald's. <laughs> no, Adam. <laughs> oh, I wonder who we're going to visit. I, I reckon we're seeing David Cameron. Mm. We're doing a job for Dave. It was a the time. Old Dave. It, it, it was a time when I, when I was in quite a bit of a conversation with David Cameron. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. No, it's not. We're here, Adam. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm still not sure who we're going to see though. Let's have a little, let's have a peek. Anyone in there? Hello? Hello? Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hi guys. 
Oh, oh, oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh. Who's this? Hey, it's Sorry. a It's a secret million. I've got to put these away. I won't need to use these now, will I? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> How's it going, mate? You're right? Good. <laughs> good. What are you two doing here? Um, just in the neighbourhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 David Cameron. And rob yeah. me tools. Yeah. Rob me tools. And time make you drive. Smoke alarm there. Freak on yeah. earth. I, I had a little chat with the old say there. Yeah. Eco are removing I, ISOs. Yeah, from I, I, the I only feel op optical now. Yeah. So we've got light there, optical there, yep. another yep. CO. Yeah. Uh, we've got fan isolators and jazz. Where's, where's the boiler? Here. Yeah. There you go. Perfect so hence, you. we are yeah. literally in the perfect, no, perfect. spot. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, so. It'd be good if you'd done um, a uh, combined optical. optical and CO2. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to buy two separate ones still, wouldn't you? So, downloads going in there? Yep. In between the two joists, because they've. Be um, fun. I know, I've measured. They're wow. perfect, they're spot on, yeah. I know. No, I've got a joist. Oh, I've got. It's the girl phone. And the girl phone. Oh, make it. But they've got flitch joists. What? So they've got two joists, and in between the two joists. Oh, you said about this on the video. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. It's a, a flitch steel. Basically, it's um, a piece oh, of steel. Cool beam that sits in between the joists to uh, provide strengthening and then they bolt oh. it but it's about it's a good 10 mil thick jeez wow lots of um lots of um wd-40 lubrication not, get not it, wd-40 you? but the actual cutting cutting yeah, lubricant. compound thing. Yeah. Wow. so every switch is so it's all two plate it's mm -hmm. a wide two plate um obviously we've got our two have done the switch then to the, to the rose then Hmm. No, no, you don't have to feed the switch. Feed the switch. So it's all, yeah. the only switch. one we've done that is three plate is this one. Yeah. And that's because there isn't enough space in the capping that's right. already here yeah. to get any more cable. Ah, got you. Ah, got you. When I've been a little clever, I put a three corner. Ah, I've done so this. We Bundy can have a that. neutral. Bundy done that a while ago, and we've done that yeah. in Molten Rewire. Yeah. And I found, I don't, I don't feed to switch, feed to, um, yeah, away. <laughs> I've done the feed to um, ceiling rows, yeah. Um, but yeah, I run a free core down. I just found it a bit of a pain feeding the rows. I'll just roll a feed switch all day long. Yeah. So I, much I, easier. Yeah, so much easier. The only thing is, it's um, you end up with a lot of wires if you go and if you've got a lot of switches to Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on, on a sign like this, it's got two way switching or yeah. you've had three way, like three gangs or whatever. Yeah, that's you just a two be, gang, two way. So you've got 30, 35 mil in there, 35 mil box. Yeah. I've sometimes about to put like a deep box or 47 or make it a bit mm -hmm. deeper because you've got so many cables in there, it's just a nightmare. Yeah. And then we've got one light switch and light in the loft. Uh, How long did it this lot take you? Uh, literally, I finished cabling yesterday. I've so been here, so that's what, Monday to Friday last week. And what we Thursday today? So yeah. two weeks. Two weeks. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And literally we've got second okay. fix and the board's gone. And we're all groovy. Yeah, so two weeks. That's all right. That's good going. Non empty like house is good. On your own for a... Did you do all this as well? No, the client the client's actually oh, okay. passed that last night. Oh right, so you haven't oh. No, good going, well done. So yeah, don't have to did, do where, did you put your light switch in the um why didn't you put a light switch in there, mate? So yeah. No, but why don't you put it inside the bathroom? <laughs> we like controversy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, the reason I've got you guys here is so you can twist my CPCs together. Oh, with a drill. good idea. With a drill. With a drill. Yeah. yeah. What's this? That's the underfloor heating mat. Oh, oh right. Okay. So we've already pre-wired it and it's literally, he's not having a thermostat. How's literally it just, a, just having an on-off switch. Oh, oh So right, literally, okay. it's not to heat up the bathroom. Um, it's because the radiator is actually going to be in front of the window or something. He's going to have a towel rail. Okay. So this will literally just be warm up the floor. But those black tiles are what he's having in the floor. So we ah, so they get cool. Oh, right. That's not me. I'm not putting it. You just put that in. I just run it up. Right. Everything's movable. So. So what what are you putting in here? You put in um oval conduit or something? Or yeah, we've got oval. Oval conduit. Yeah. How did you secure it in the wall? Well, I did my chases a little bit narrower uh -huh. than the conduit. Ah, uh, oh, okay. And Interesting then, uh, way of doing it. It fits in. And it fits in, it hugs it tight. Because uh, obviously, I did a little experiment, didn't I? I, um, I, did, I did a DeWalt chaser with a Metabo tri-blade. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
It doesn't work, by the way. <laughs> it makes it just makes too much mess because the blade is. It works, but it, it doesn't work. Mm. If that makes sense. So the um, but with the wolf yeah. blades, I was able to adjust them so that it's ever so slightly narrower. Mm. And where I have used the Matabe blade, we literally just put in um, fixings with some all round band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then literally, that's what um, Bundy done. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try it on, on my next one. So but what I've good. done is all the capping actually goes into the floor. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. we usually... Rather yeah, than, I usually sit there, no, yeah. yeah. So it goes into the floor a little bit so that you can yeah. then easy access in the future, just pull yeah. it up and down. Oh, it's so much easier when you can just pull a cable yeah. straight up. We've done that a few times, showed them. Mm -hmm. I think probably next time I'll probably do it in... Because um... capping's all right. Mm -hmm. Over, overall conduit rather is all right, but I think I'll probably just do it in probably round. Round conduit. Yeah. What mil? What, like regular twenty mil sort of thing. Twenty twenty five mil. Because mm -hmm. obviously it's the same. Obviously these are twenty five mil holes anyway. Trouble with uh, flat conduit. What? You got is that twenty five mil? Yeah. Oh, we can't, I can't get onto that. That's twenty five mil. Twenty cap mil cap um, conduit is. You can never get like two cables through. It's really tight. Yeah, so that's why I went 25. Because oh, we've got okay. a 4 mil radio up here. Right. Oh, right, okay, cool. Yeah. 4 mil. How many. How many what, what amp breaker is a 4 mil radio on? 4 mil radio is on a 32. Well done. <laughs> well done, Adam. Right, mate. Sorry, <laughs> Gifford, we don't want to stand in your way. Let's crack on with some work. Let's go. Let's you got go. anything you want us to do, or just going to. Well, I left the. Uh, obviously, you told me to leave the Dexter scene up. Yeah. The what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> okay. So we, I thought you said about offing Adam. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah, the, the good idea. Just wrap, wrap him up in the plastic that's already downstairs. <laughs> just is this river right, I need to stop, stop filming this. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a river. That'd be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've been paid off by your missus, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get rid yeah. of so it. You're insured and everything. Get rid and of I'm it. getting your tools. That's it. Way. That's fine. Yeah. At least I go to a good day. So what are these opticals that you're talking about? How's the opticals? Uh, so, oh, no. so an optical works on um, optics. So it has like a sensor to... Or, well, no. light. Well. So it works on light. Mm -hmm. um, so effectively it's checking for the density of the um, smoke. So obviously mm -hmm. it isn't affected by steam. So we've all had that kind of nuisance. Uh, yeah. Alarms going off when you have an ISO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because steam can affect an ISO, mm -hmm. um, whereas optic alarms, they, they literally rely on the visibility. So as soon as, I think it's something like 55, 60% of mm -hmm. the, the visibility is dropped down to, mm -hmm. that's when they trip. So it's more, um, when using an optic, you're going to get more accurate yeah. activation because the, the steam won't affect it. Exactly. Brilliant. Um, and then obviously with the heat, so we've got heat going in downstairs, mm -hmm. the heat operates at like 60, 65 degrees, so obviously it's far enough away from the, the hob that it can't inadvertently trigger, Yeah. Um, but obviously if the temperature in the downstairs gets hot enough, mm -hmm. it will trigger, but they all have audio link. Oh, so right. yeah. If you, if you, if you what we're doing, if we get them up and running today, yeah, you, we'll, we'll get the audio link going. You press it and it gives so many beeps and... yeah. And it tells you exactly if there's any faults or anything. Wow. Yeah. I've got it tells you when it was triggered, yeah. what really? triggered it, and then it goes, which alarm was triggered. It goes on your phone. Really? Like, you, an app, yeah. Wow, so app for everything. I've got it. You've got your ear defenders. Oh, yeah. It's, I've got my yeah. ear defenders. Have you got a pair of ear defenders? Yeah. They're oh, good because you'll need them. Because yeah. it's horrendous. <laughs> it goes on for about 30 seconds. Yeah. It just... if, if you remember dial up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, because you're old enough and you're old enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> I'm old enough, Christ. <laughs> yeah, so think dial up, but the volume is scaled up 300%. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, dial so if, if we smash out, so this isn't being first fit, this isn't being second fix, we're literally just going to have it on where he goes mm -hmm. and a connection box, but it means we can test it. Mm -hmm. um, and then literally, let's just get it all connected mm -hmm. up and we can start testing it. Cool. Um, so you want us to a second fix today? You can do whatever you want. You can sit Adam in a... Well, I know Adam's not going to be here after, after this video. Oh well, no, let's, let's, get get some, some, yeah, let's get some work out of him and then we can... Yeah, so should we shove him yeah. in the cupboard first? Yeah, good. <laughs> so he could, do the, he could do the board change. He's never done one, I wouldn't trust him. All right. <laughs> never. I'll do it if you want, I'll give it a go. No. I'll tell you what, what we've got to do is just confirm. So we've got, we've got gas and water. Yeah. Now there was a gas bond. 
Mm -hmm. So it's probably safe to assume that we should re-bond re the gas. Mm -hmm. But the pipe coming in for the water is plastic, <coughs> or appears to be plastic. Right, okay. So do we bond the water? Well, with, if it's at the point of entry and it's insulated, then you don't need to bond it. Not under uh, the 18th edition, exactly. That's, that's yeah. So One of the exam questions that we have. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's worth testing it to see if we do... Yeah, whether it is actually yeah. insulated yeah. at the point of entry. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll crack on mm -hmm. with that. So he's getting shoved in a cupboard whether he likes yeah. it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's, let's, let's go. Uh, let's, let's get started. Do What's this, Adam? Do you know what it is? Look. Glow stick. Do not kink, do not crush. It's a glow stick, isn't it? Yeah. Give it a crack, see what happens. <laughs> Probably worth a oh. quid. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not near anybody either. No. It's acid. <laughs> God knows. What is it? It so is. Nice. Fire suppression tool. Yeah, it's like it's, it goes in. You're consuming it. So where where have I put yeah, it? Who done it? Who done it? Someone done a video. Chris, with Chris. CGR. He set one on fire. Yeah. And what it does, it literally, um, as soon as it, it melts, it, it it explodes and releases out a gas that kills, snuffs the fire. Wow. Yeah. So these are quite just new. From that, quite new. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they're, beco they're becoming more and more popular now. So you just insert them into the unit yeah, after you fit it in. Brilliant. See behind you. Ooh. So what we do is we'll drill a couple of holes at the bottom. And just pop them in there. And then that will literally sit on the outside like that. Ooh, look. Oh, it sits on the outside. It sits on the outside, yeah, because yeah, you, obviously your fire's inside, but you want to stop the fire spreading outside, don't you? Right, okay, cool. No. Goes on the inside. That's what I was saying. I don't know. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> he's joking about oh, already with us. Jokes. Give So, yeah, we literally just mount it inside there. Yeah. And, oh, wow. And what it does, yeah, literally nylon fittings. So, they're about 20, 30 quid. Right, okay. For the sake of 30 quid, if it is 30 quid. That's good, isn't it? Right, okay. It just literally blows up the fire. That's really cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like that. And we got this from CP, uh, from the CPQ's board. We got that from. Gillette. Oh, right. So Gillette supplied all of this. We've got a load of RCBOs and everything. Well done, Gillette. Thank Gillette. you, Gillette. Gillette. How um, are you securing your um? What are you called? What are you called? What are you called? This bit. Um, Grommet strip. I haven't. Normally just, with, yeah, with glue. Glue, yeah. But the fuse box if, ones if actually. If you're care, careful enough and not stupid, yeah. you, you'll get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I use um, that mitre bond. Right, from okay. a, a well-known kitchen fitter company. <laughs> never heard of it. Really not? Never heard of it. No, two two-piece two kit it is. It's spray and super glue. That's nice. Yeah, yeah but yeah, oh, they, they, they're, they're really good. good. I'd fit them in all my boards. It's are. a nice little touch, isn't Do it? Do you know what I, I don't like about these fuse boxes, right? What's that? Is you can't put that onto that side. So if you've got an incoming that side, like yeah. changing the consumer units, and you've got, they never put enough length on the towel, so when it'd be good if they mm. done something where you can just put it on that side yeah. and change the neutral and... Really yeah, and or give you an option at the point of purchase to say, I want a yeah. left hand. Left yeah. or, or right hand. That would be just better if they made two. I mean, obviously that CP, is, come on. That is a right hand version, yeah. i.e., mm -hmm. you know, switch on the right hand side. But you know, Hager's right hand as well. I don't. I think most yeah, most companies. Miles, are, yeah. It's either Hager or Fuse Box. So yeah, Hager's right. I know. Right. Um, you know, most places are, are right. Handed. For that, well, you would have thought, wouldn't you? They did. Like, you, I think the best option is to say, yeah, you can have a right and a left. Yeah. Order it at the. As, well, see, if you do, if you use Hager, Hager now do. They used to be renowned for the square knockouts, weren't they? Yeah, at the top, and I didn't yeah. like them. They now do them in round. Good. So the, you can, the round is becoming far more popular. So it looks as if Hager are phasing out the um, square knockouts, which the square knockouts have their benefit for obviously for using a lot of trunking. But yeah. most, most people just want round. You don't do trunking. I don't, I don't like the looks of it. It's not, no, I don't. It, it looks, well, it has I, a purpose. It's I like, like most things and it I has like a purpose. I like steel trunking in an industrial setting. Yeah. I think it looks good and yeah. in steel conduit. But trunking to me, it's like the old day. I like it, it around looks... consuming it, but green the cables, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A bit trunking, 100 it, mil by 50 or something. Only when you have to have it. No, I think it looks all right. Mm. Yeah, it, it has its purpose. It's like, yeah. it's like there are certain people in the community that hate Flexicon. Yeah. Certain people I think love it. Good, Get off it? your keyboards, you tossers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's it's one of these things. It has its purpose. Yeah. I just I just think it's 
Mm. Yeah, I prefer, <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> get in that cupboard and start testing, will <laughs> <what> you? <yeah? laughs> so um, yeah, look at that. This is this, out of. I mean, I've seen loads of random places for a consumer unit. But this is one of the most random. No, no, no. This is quite common. Really? Yeah, in in a cupboard, because it, it's it's this, this type nice of build. This probably wasn't. It probably wasn't situated like this before. Mm. This, if I recall, if you look above you, that's the original footprint of the house, I believe. Oh right, so that there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that would have been. Uh, so this would have been external um, or or just in the porch? Yeah, it would have been like porch, the door yeah. entry. Here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it would have been a porch or something like that, or little JP under there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. So, but yeah, so we've just got to test our test our supplies coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, re obviously, like oh, I said, Gas has already had it? one by mm -hmm. the looks of it. But mm -hmm. I can even see here, it's a, uh, if I take this rubber surround off, it's actually, oh look, steel income. So. And that's for the gas? That's for the gas. So we know the gas is yep. coming on And steel. the water's actually under there, but the easiest point to get to is it's there. Uh -huh. What's the minimum distance you can have that to your consumer unit? 600 meters. Oh, what, the entry for the bonding? No, well, no, the um, gas meter from the consumer unit. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Is it 150 mil? I think yeah. it's 150. Most things are like 100 mil, 150 yeah. mil, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, Although the bond, the bonding is well, my, my one is pretty much same as yeah. that. Ours, ours, yeah, it's like it's like sockets next. It's like this fused spur. What came first? Yeah, yeah. The gas hob. Yeah, yeah. Or the yeah, 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 yeah. But there's no there's no evidence of any thermal Dam damage. Yeah, to damage. It. Yeah, so. so these people that go, you know, yeah, oh no, you can't, can't do, do that. that. Can't do that. No. I took that off to see if I could pull the cable up to extend it, but mm. hey ho. There you go. You're actually doing some work, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's tight now, mate. Just put the battery a little bit there. It's just that we've got a little bit of flat up there. Pull out the light. Right, go down, pull it. Yeah, about there. Did you get the one all right? Yeah. There we go, yeah. Just a nice little bit of slack there, not too much. And pulled that in. Oh, look, it's tight holes, isn't it? Oh, conduit in there. Well, not over, just regular training your conduit. Good. It's nice, isn't it? Good, I like that. Yeah. Makes your life easier, doesn't it, for later on? Uh -huh. Right, let's get doing some work. We're fitting these, right? Yes. We're fitting these Hagers. They are. Oh, Hagers. What's different between that and mm. the regular ones we fit? We usually fit BGs. Have a look. You got the neutral loop. Neutral? Yeah. So that, yeah. that saves you having another wagon box in the back. What? Yep, seen these. Quite, are they quite new? No, oh, no. No, no, no. I had them when I was training. Did and I, I was like, huh? I, I didn't have a clue what, what it was, but then. Yeah, it's safe wagos, isn't it? I've seen yeah. Gaz talks about You're not about supposed to have wagos on the back of accessories. Oh, yeah. oh no, I'm heaven the so, YouTube police will come and get us. Yeah. So what do you nice. do when you don't have, um, obviously a lot of plastic fittings, Boxes don't have an, uh, an earth terminal, do they, for the CPCs? Yeah, that's fine. So how, what do you do? Just Wago. not put a Wago in? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. <laughs> just over sleeve. <laughs> just silly, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the keyboard warriors all over again, isn't it? These are nice fittings, aren't they? All surprises. Right. I'm not going to do this one. Let Greg do that one. <laughs> we'll fit the socket. Greg can do this one. It's got one of Messi's room, room right? right? These, yeah, I must admit, I really like these loop things. When, when you're cutting, um, when you're doing these back boxes and uh, everything, make sure you cut them really short, okay? Yeah. So you can barely get, get them out again. Before or after we've twisted the CPCs with Twist the drill. CPCs as well. Don't want to forget that. What Have you been doing with an impact driver? Yeah. Yep. More talk, the better. These are nice, I like these. Right. So, Adam. Yes. Question for you. Yep. When you're interlinking your alarms. Yeah. You have a live, neutral, inter interconnect, and the CPC. Yeah. Do you sleeve the interconnect wire? No. Why not? With what, CPC sleeving? No. So obviously on a three core, it's three core CPC cable. Yeah. You've got brown, black, blue, Grey. and then obviously, you know, CPC. Yeah, you put the black goes into the interconnect, doesn't it? Does it? Does it? Yeah. What is that the regular? So you need to. So what you? 
so long since I've used three four and a half. I can't remember what the colours are. Brown, black, and blue. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's the same three phase, isn't it? So Not without grey. What do you reckon? I put the black into the um, interconnect. Yeah. Does it need sleeve in there? Mm, does I? If you do so, do you sleeve it with brown? Yes, that's it. If you're going to sleeve it, what colour are you going to sleeve it brown. with? Yeah. I, I personally don't sleeve it. I wouldn't. Because no, it's no, only no it's, it's 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 like you, comms wire, isn't it? It's, it's not a comms like, wire. It's not. Um, so obviously, when it goes live, it does obviously, you know, it tells the other alarms, but. Obviously, the whole point of sleeving a conductor is to identify what that conductor does. So you does. can just go black. So yeah, in my my opinion, just go black. It's it's black because it is indicating that that is mm -hmm. the interconnect wire rather than being a live conductor. Yeah. Which obviously, they're all live conductors, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. We, um, so yeah, you just going in black onto that one, and then you're yeah. burning brown, blue into there as well to take to the next one. Take yeah. the feed. So that goes to obviously the hallway. The hallway then goes up to the. Um, so, is this the first one? That's the first one. So, so what we, what we've used is we've used three core and earth to here, mm -hmm. Adam. Yeah. What cable will you use to go from this one to the next one? So there's only one more. There's only one more. Oh, any, any, any. So if there was more, you'd use three core and earth again because if if there were, you'd have to connect the interconnect terminal, wouldn't you? Yeah. Until you got to the last one where you wouldn't need to. Well, go well. No, you would to get to that one. So yeah, you'd use free core and CPC. Mm -hmm. The beauty of ACO is that if you only have, if you've got no ability to wire in yeah. a three core earth yeah. to do your interlinked, they obviously do a remote module. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Radio Link. Uh, However, no, okay. Radio Link are not compatible with the nine volt any any of the units that are nine volt. Oh right. Because they go. I think they have the module goes where the yeah. How is that still beeping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn the battery out and everything. Yeah. These are solid, aren't they? It's nice. I'm not touching that one. No. You're not touching it. <laughs> no, no, you're not. I'm not, I'm not touching it. We'll this do is... the sockets. Yeah. Let's, let's do, do the sockets. Socket. We'll we can do we can do four million in that, can't we? we can't... Yeah, we Surely we're not gonna mess that up, or <laughs> you're not. Go, I'll Sorry. keep an eye on Doc. Yeah, oh, I love that. Quite... I love putting them okay. on after. So don't, don't they just stay on? All those bases are the same, which is really good, but if you have a nine volt battery, you, you don't get the option of the, the smart link, mm. the radio link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can only have it if you have the built in lithium battery. Oh, okay. Um, but then the module goes there. So if you, if you as long as you can get perm live neutron and CPC to this alarm, mm -hmm. you can then just link all your other alarms using the radio link module. Mm -hmm. It's good That's if nice. they've um, decorated them. And this got, I can just show the front of it. Yeah. You've got a big front, you just press that to Test. Test. These are brilliant, isn't it? You use some. That, there is. That's like what that does. That is like, there's some really good quality products you've used in here as well. Like these, it just feel really nice. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Yeah. Are you in the gang? Are you, <laughs> I am in the gang. Do you want to be in my gang? My gang. My gang. No, <laughs> let's, let's not go there, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right, let's get, let's get those to do some work now. <laughs> For those that watched eFix the other week, uh, that Ross came back without his impact driver this time. Um, uh, yeah. Craig hasn't watched it last night because he was busy doing this job. He's going to watch it when he gets home tonight. Um, but I'm going to show Craig the video from the actual Electrician Ball Challenge. Oh, Ross, let's have a look at how you got on with the Electrician's Challenge. Well, seeing Ross there with you, I can confirm he's trimmed off half a stone in weight. Didn't have a look as if he had much to lose, did he? Well, he's certainly been practicing, but look at the speed that screwdriver's gone. He's in with another screwdriver. They're moving so fast, can't even tell him anything. Oh, okay. So, socket front's off. He's going to go about this a different way, isn't he? Obviously, straight away, there'll be no impact driver. But it's interesting to see how he tackles this. And this might be a formula worth thinking about if you have a go yourself. So, yeah, if you're watching close, he's already undone the terminals in the consumer unit. As well as the fly lead one there when he's at the front off. So, there's no no wastage here is there so fly lead goes in before then obviously we start wiring so screws are out backed out bang fly leads in yeah. good start i would suggest yep. so now here's the here's the bit where people can lose a lot of time if you don't get the cable through that conduit but ross has got his way of doing it he doesn't bother twisting those ends together it's out with the tape tape and the tape mm. quick flick around with the tape losing time see it moving then warm up that cable and this is the trick in it yeah, yeah couple warm of, and straight. Yeah, it might have taken three strikes there, but watch this. This is phenomenal. Whoosh, 
Wow. Round the Seco bend in a flash. Yeah, just to get round Sparky Loon and into the top of the board. Yeah. No. Oh, I think he's wasted a bit of time oh, there. He's yeah. left something on the table, I would suggest there. Yeah. Now, looking at those oh, legs, that reminds me of the, the great Donna Stell. <laughs> Showing your edge there, Gary. Yeah. Kick the door open, it ain't half hot in here, mate. So we're into the board, three connections only to make. We know the screws are already backed out, so we're in a good position. It's yeah, an interesting tactic. That's mm. the next one. Yeah. So is he going to challenge all your screws at the top of the leaderboard? Yeah. What the conduit king? So well, we'll see. Ross is already there, but we're saying we have banned the impact driver, so this is his second chance because of that. But this does look <laughs> like a fast time. And I would say doing it with the impact driver wasn't any advantage, really, was it? As in, he hasn't learned too much from that because he's having to screw everyone by hand this time. Severe disadvantage to us because we had to get a lot of new breakers. Yeah, and sockets. So uh, we're down at the sockets. There's just four connections. In one of his practice runs, he only had two runs. Um, he had to split the CPC on the first one. What's his thinking behind yeah, that? High integrity, yeah, I think, Gary. Yeah, I, I think put the it, IT equipment going in here. Yeah. And, uh, All in one hole for me this yeah, time. Those, those famous side cutters out as well. Oh, I think yeah. as well as those famous sockets. Sausage fingers. Oh, the sausage fingers. Got versed fingers, as one of our German viewers uh, told us uh, this week. Still applies in Germany if you've got uh, slightly porky fingers quick. out there. Mm. Okay. Also, those hands we've suggested before could do with a touch of moisturiser. Oh, secret I love you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Lee. I love it. However, he does spend a lot I'm of sure time we'll at weekends <laughs> on a motorbike, doesn't he? Mm, that's it. Well, he's scrambling to the end here. Oh, yeah. Trying to get to that finish line in first place. Will he see the chequered flag? Yeah. Will he be a winner? We'll have to find out. So two screws to go, just to put the cover on. These yeah, aren't as easy them. as they look, are yeah, they? Yeah, but he's got them in the right place. He hasn't put the grey screw on the grey floor. And he's going to stop. We'll see if he's uh, anywhere near the top. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, well, Ross, that was fast. I reckon fast. it was quicker than mine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. and no impact drive. Was it fast enough, though, Gardner? <laughs> well, we'll see. So we're looking at the leaderboard. <laughs> That's your, uh, sure. Who would you like to be above, do you think? Well, above Aaron. You know, if I'm below Aaron, then I'd be absolutely devastated. But <laughs> There's no way he's below no, Aaron. No, I think Craig so. Gifford, he seemed to complain the most about the impact of <laughs> Yeah, damn right. I've got to be above Craig. Well, Ross Sands, let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, you did it this time. <laughs> what, 250 now? Without an impact driver, just using hand <laughs> tools <laughs> in two minutes. 53. <laughs> so still, so he's still top. Still, oh, nice. still, still top. the fastest electrician. Yeah, that is the point. He is the fastest electrician. I am the fastest secret millionaire. Hey! That's it. <laughs> That's well done, mate. Rapid yeah, time. Amazing. A good time, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> you, you are quick as well. That's the thing. No, Adam, it is not level. <laughs> this is a level, yeah? <laughs> Doc, <laughs> this is brand new. I oh, know. Has he never used it before? It's never been used. No, never used it. So does the rest of you. Yeah, it probably explains a lot then, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> do you just leave your rubbish on the floor, do you? I, I was going to pick it up after. I was going to ask where we're disposing of it. It's a spark. No, what you do, what you do, drop it down yes, the isn't it? Because the old trick. Oh, I've cleaned <laughs> up under <laughs> <on> this already. <laughs> I was like, fudging? Goodness. And it was going into the, into the wall. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. It's. It is what it is. He knows he's got he's got to do some plastering, so it's not the, not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, yeah cool. It's good, man. But yeah, just uh, nice sockets, aren't they? As well, really good, good ones. Sockets. Solid. Yeah. Aren't they? they are really good. Really nice. Um, really easy to fit as well. Yeah. yeah. Really nice to screw. How's it? What's it like with the four mil in the back boxes? The four mil. It's all right, mate. It's, it's okay. I noticed the only thing I'd noticed is is that you don't have as much um, you need to cut off because there's not a very not a lot of room to. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You caught that kind of shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I normally use right. um the what are they? Nipex ergo strippers. But oh, you should use oh, them. Yeah, but they're flat. The for twin and earth, so oh, they do a flat okay. one. Then you get right in, okay. and you can pierce it. Oh, but of course, don't forget, yeah. it, you, you should be able to push the cables in yeah. to the floors. Yeah. So yeah. you literally just have the tiniest amount of yeah sh 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 sheathing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they're good. They're good quality. Good quality sockets. So, oh, okay. this this is a spirit level. Oh, what? And it has a bubble. And often, apprentices are sent to go and get the air bubble. Yeah, I, I went to the shop the other day, didn't I? Yeah. Find something there. Yeah. yeah. And it tells you if something's level or not. So, when you when you finish putting your socket on, just see if it's on the... The Willy Wonk. Uh, uh, Willy, uh, uh, Willy. And add, Adam, Adam, yes, mate. You use it that way, not not that way. I do. That's where you're going you wrong. Sure about that? That's where you're going wrong. 
<laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> on Monday, you start to be full time. Wait. And guarantee it, I'm going to put these in a plaster of um, bucket and just. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't know the difference, would really. yeah. you? Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, my, so is that my, level now, is it? Throw my... Yeah, is that level? Yes. Look. Mmm. So, yeah, nice and level. <laughs> it, it, but See? It, look, it's hold level. on, hold on. It's, it's nice and level. Let's have a look at this. Is yeah, well... Look, look, it's I'll, level. I'll give, I'll give him that. It's level. Now, so you do nice use it. Don't, don't forget That's there's a socket behind all the tools, so just yes. move and the tools. Yes, and then here, I've just noticed on this one, you've got no screws in it. You've got no They're downstairs. Why they obviously because they must have fallen out when I was taking them out. Ah, oh, okay. So they're do in a packet downstairs. Do you not have? So do you not keep spares? Do you not have like me? Do you not have trouser pockets? Dumbo ears. He has nothing in these pockets. I, I, don't like, I think, and you've mentioned this in one of your videos. You're like me. You don't like having these in case of stuff. You know what? Funny you should say that. I had my keys in my pocket the other day. Yeah. And I have something. Um, I have a, a a reset tool, which is basically. It's the it's the tool that comes with the iPhones and stuff like that to oh, inject right. the SIM. It's a oh, SIM okay, tool. yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's like that and then goes out. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it's yeah, like a loop. pin that you can use it for pin or recess. So I was on my hands and knees. Oh, yeah? In, in the floorboards, <laughs> not doing oh, anything else, hand knees. <laughs> and literally, I went like that to stand up. Ah. And the actual, literally, it was sticking out oh. and it went right into the palm of my hand. Nice. So don't even carry keys in your pocket these days, or certainly don't carry um, keys with a pinhole reset tool. Yeah, there. I've got everything. But yeah, that, yeah. But no, I'm, I'm, actually, to be fair, now that I've got them, I kind of my, my mind is swaying off the fact that yeah. I mean, occasionally I do stab myself in the leg with a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kneel down and I've got my pliers in there, and they've gone. Oh. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. I like to have it in that, just like go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, but, but when you don't you... use them. I do now. You I clearly don't. I mean, that, that spirit level's brand new. Exactly. Well, it's that not, is, it is. Not, it's okay. How long have you had that for? Since like January. <laughs> January, yeah, so it's, 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 it's the first time it's come out of the bag. When I, first when, permission when, in when, 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 I've, when I've said, these sockets aren't lovely. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, but no. I um, went to my chiropractor yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Look after yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, you um, she said, How are you feeling? I said, oh, I'll be glad when this rewire's over. She said, Oh, really? Is it, is it difficult? I said, No, I just elbowed deep in it today. She was like, What? I said, You know what? I was, elbow I was literally elbow deep in the floorboards. Yeah. Because I'm literally, I'm not deep. taking up all the floorboards. I'm literally fishing yeah. that and, final and cable reach. from there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm, of like, course, there's a pipe there. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> better than being balls deep in the floor, like Dennis Nielsen and his. <laughs> no, yeah. Less said about that, the better. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, no, it's. I mean, thankfully, you know, it's not been too bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. I think one man on his own. Matt, yeah. Good, good, two good, weeks. Good, two really weeks. Good, to get really good. To get, the only thing we haven't rewired, we've had to reconfigure yeah. the downstairs final circuit, mm -hmm. just because there were three circuits up here. Mm -hmm. um, but we've corrected the work of a previous electrician, Adam. Yeah, we corrected Adam's work. Um, <laughs> and then we've rewired all the lighting mm. and then obviously put a brand new circuit in for upstairs. Yeah. I've got a question for you actually. It's a job I went to the other day in the ICR. Have you ever seen a borrowed neutral on a, a socket circuit? No. Seen it on a lighting circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never on a socket circuit. Uh, lighting circuit, yeah. Never on a it's, it. Although it's not right, it makes sense. You can understand why they've done it. But what is the boring neutral? A learning moment. So, there we go. It's so, a learn, yeah. learn. So effectively, you three cue the music. When, learn of the day. Learn of the day with Doctor Electric. All right. So. Um, Sparks of old used to literally, when they would wire the downstairs lighting circuit, they would take a neutral from normally the hallway, isn't it? Generally, you'd find it was yeah, the from the hallway, hallway so, and, down. and they would take a neutral from there up to the upstairs lighting and then just run a, 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 a live. So, you'd have the neutral. So, whenever you try and do an RCD on those, it trips, doesn't it? Uh -huh. If you try and put them on separate circuits, so they use the same neutral, just carry yeah. it up. Yeah, they just carry the same neutral over. Which seems a bit. I, I, can't, I can't see how it would have ever saved time, because you still got to run yeah. a line. You still got yeah, sorry, a line. You still got to run a line. But don't forget, they didn't. Keyboard run, warriors out there. Didn't run. Uh, didn't run Earth's either, did they? In the, no. The lightings. <laughs> That's true. But this house, all of this house was no. Bor there was no borrowed neutral. Yeah. But it was all running singles. 
Yeah, yeah, I've seen. Singles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so double in slave singles. Quite, quite normal. For live and neutral, no CPCs. And then in some of the switches, they did have um, two core. But again, it was two core with no CPCs. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, I mean. It's right. not uncommon. Yeah. yeah. Houses, houses of 50s, 60s, it's quite a common thing to find. They'll be like saying, won't they, in 60 years' time, there was some like, as, as Craig says, sparks of old were running neutrals into the light switch. Yeah. Putting in these little things. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, now we've gone back to wiring everything to, <laughs> yeah, to the light. Yeah, right. Anyway, right, so I was, I was doing this ERCR on this property, 38. Oh, no, the Don't one, tell the address. No, no. The one, the, the one where that we we went there and they had a re recent kitchen fit by a major company. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are we those. talking a major company with a green logo? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you get you get the one back. So, right. So it's like a letter like. But there, there we go. <laughs> there was nothing. Uh, there was no labelling on the board as usual. So the first job is to go around and find out what does what. Yeah. So yeah, we had a. Uh, what was it now? Ups, no, it wasn't upset, it was left and right. Uh, so yeah. left, left hand See sockets yeah. and then right hand sockets. Okay. Um, so we te literally, you put one, one on at the time and go around and test, make sure what sockets it is. And it was left and right. So there's no interconnection for the line sort of thing. You wouldn't, you was getting no signal. But when you do your uh, R1 RN uh, figure of eight, you was getting. Low readings on one, but the other side was high readings. Really high. Yeah. yeah. So it was some sort of, and, and R1, R2 was fine. So it was the, um, there's neutral connection on ah, somewhere. A borrowed neutral. Well, uh, it's, it's linking through somewhere, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so it could have been like miswired in a socket or something. I don't know. I'll Maybe tell you, it did happen the other week. Um, yeah. a fault. So three stack consumer unit. Oh, right. Okay. So three, three RCDs. Oh, right. okay. But they're one below each other. Yeah, yeah. Ten circuits on each RCD. Yeah. And um, literally, RCD one would trip for random, really random reasons. So initially thought it was the oil boiler, because mm -hmm. as soon as we fired it up, it would trip. Mm -hmm. And then they had a, because they, they're down in the valley, they have a pump that sends all the waste up to a septic tank, which is up the hill. Mm. Well, that then turned that on, and that then tripped RCD one. Yet, it's fed from RCD three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So I traced it down to a fact that it, it. I fed. I found it. Found where the pump went. Pump's got a fault on it. Right. Because we have really uh, low readings when we're testing it. And why are So insulation distance. Test. Yeah, like yeah. super super low. Right. Limit. Okay. It's, there's a breakdown. Yeah. Um, but it was connected to another, it then had a, a follow-on feed to somewhere else. Yeah. And that, that follow-on feed was tied in to a circuit called the boathouse. Now right. we couldn't find the boathouse, right. <laughs> um, but it was a 40 amp 10 mil circuit, which was on RCD1. Right, okay. So it's, it comes off RCD3 to the yeah. pump, and then it has a follow-on circuit yeah. links through, which goes up the wall and then disappears. Yeah. Um, but when you test it out, as soon as I disconnected the um, line neutral of the boathouse mm -hmm. supply, yeah, it's fine. my readings went back to normal. Yeah. yeah. So really, really strange. It's as if some obviously it's been linked through somewhere, but we couldn't find. Can't the find where the yeah, one where the boathouse yeah. <laughs> where the boathouse existed. Yeah. Did, was awesome. there not like a lake nearby you could trace it to we somewhere were, near that we were right next <laughs> to the river <laughs> oh, wow. but uh literally the boathouse i mean 40 amp supply for the boat you you'd think that's obviously for a building but yeah, we checked yeah. we checked all the buildings yeah, yeah. that literally are there associated nothing, with nothing buried and cut off at some point or something that, but obviously it still has some who knows i even turned it off gave it 48 hours and she never came back to me no, and that's, said it's, that's the thing you the boat house turn it off and the then you find the fridge is not working or yeah. something yeah that's the name i of thought fridge, maybe it was yeah. a shower you know it's also been repurposed for a shower supply or mm. something like it's that the boat house uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boat house. right come on yeah. let's get some food anyway yeah hungry so what we got here so we've got gifford switch Got a light, light switch. switch, and it's. Let's um, come on that side because it's quite Yeah, so it's finger switch, which we all love. Finger switch, yeah. So Gifford's put this in up here, which is going to be for like a pendant style lamp. Uh -huh. um, 
and we've got the feed in, feed out, and to the light. So it's nice and easy feed to switch. These are the first time I've seen these, so I'm quite excited. Yeah. People are like, really? You haven't seen these before? I used these when I first started on my sort of apprenticeship sort of mm -hmm. route. So these are great, aren't they? So the loop is to put your neutrals in yeah. instead of having a Wago in the back. Uh, obviously, we're going one way, so we're going to put common in there and then uh, L1 there for the one way switch. So, yes, looking forward to it. So, I'm going to strip all these down now. And what, what tool are you going to use to strip? I'm going to use <laughs> the quick wire. Thank you, quick wire. Thanks, quick wire. Love it. Thank you very much. I'm going to get my Adam, not that really. <laughs> Do you know your, all these things on the on your side? You can put like loads of screwdrivers in. Is that what they're for? Yeah, rather than keep yeah. going back to your bag. Maybe I'll start doing it. Right, so <laughs> lengthwise, don't want them too short. You might put a fist in. Bit, a little bit a lot. Probably about that much length you want it, okay? Yeah, about, 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 the size okay, of, yeah. about the size of your old boy. <laughs> so I'm going to go for about. I'm gonna chop them. The way I the way I, I do it is, a bit, is like it? it's not that way. I do it the other way with a fist. You fist it. Yeah, that that way, and then that is enough. You fist him, don't that you? That should be enough uh, length. Enough. Don't you can never skimp on length, can you? So you go you go like that, and then you chop him there. I would. What I would do though, I'll do that last. Do you? Yeah. Cut you've... cut the sleeve off first. Yeah. Cut the old sleeve. Uh, sleeve. Uh, sleeve. These are this is the, the commissioning. Go about there. Yeah. So that one is for your light switch. Oh, switch line. Look at that. And then just, should just pull straight off. It's just lovely, isn't it? I mean yeah. these they are the future. Or actually they're the present because we're already using them, aren't we? Love them. Look it's just just clean, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Thanks, quick wire. Whee. Good old boys, the old and girls in the quick wire, aren't they? I do like them. They're good. Better than the other ones, aren't they? What are those brand called? Joke Ari. Yeah. Because they didn't give us any more, did they? No. When you do this, you chop it a few lengths down, don't you, normally? Anything left over, you can tuck him in. Up. Oh. Yeah, up. You do. You taught me something where you can come in like that, can't you? And you can chop a few yeah, down. Yeah, chop a few. If it's a bit, sometimes it depends what cable you use. I find it can be a bit awkward, so just chop it a couple of times down. When you're using that Chinese stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull it so like sometimes it can just be a bit Stiff, tricky it, coming really? off. So you see how easy the other ones come off. Let's try and get these. You want to do it about damaging, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's really going down there. Yes. Pull in. What I might do is just, when on the measure, and then just chop it, because it's going to be... You've gone about there, don't you? Yeah. I'd feed it up. What I'd do feed is I wouldn't chop it. I'd feed it up so you got that much left out. Because then in the future... They can always... If the, then, yeah, if you need to bring it down, they can got extra length. Like that? Yep. And then we need to pull him now. This is real bugger yeah. to get off. Oh, no, it's just that one, isn't it? Yeah, without damaging the camera. I'm not giving us... Mm. No, no, you should be able to pull it off. Give it a good yank. Give it a good tug, mate. Tugging tough. Yep. Oh, it's sticky. It felt sticky on the... Um... Might be a different brand. Oh, it's coming off now. Yeah. Felt like it had a bit of sticky in the middle. Not to do with me. <laughs> what have you been doing, Doc? Yeah, it can get sticky sometimes. Let me give it another. I really like with these quick wires how it feeds through the middle as well, like that. Yeah. Now we need one of them three years later. Oh, like, yeah. Like Najee. Oh, but you know, you've got to remember, I'm only an apprentice, I'm still learning. You're not even an apprentice yet. I will be on the 31st. On Monday. Not for, well, well 24th, yeah. I think it is Monday. That's 23rd, isn't it? 23rd, 24th, that's when you're officially an apprentice. Oh, exciting. 
exciting times. Exciting times. So this is like nice, isn't it? Look how neat it is like that, because it doesn't spray yeah. it out, does it? So get some earth sleeve ready. I'm tripping. So it's like, are you excited about me being the apprentice, joining up? You haven't seen your contract yet. <laughs> I'm just what going you, over that. What have you put in it? Well, I'll put, put in what I want, thanks. I'm the boss. It says, says doctor on the van, not Adam. <laughs> what did you actually put in it? Oh, you have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> it's got surprises. Mm -hmm. Make sure you read the small print. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> I won't so, stitch you up, mate, because Adam might actually be, be my college student as well. Oh, that'd be awesome. Soon find out, probably in the next week I reckon we'll find out. Do you think as well, like, it'll be, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Because there's what, there's four mature students on the course. Well, three Including, mature, one yeah. immature. So, um, yes, yeah, so, I'll just mature by age, <laughs> won't I? Mm. But, so then the rest of what, like, is it 16 the entry? I think, well, I think, yeah, I think so. 16. Uh, literally, school leavers they'll be in. But isn't, I'm confused, because when I was at school, you could leave school at 16. Didn't they make it 18 now? Yeah, unless you go into further education. Okay. Or an apprenticeship or something like that, or, or a paid role. You couldn't go into a... But you can't go to, like, work at Tesco's or something you like that. You can't go, like, on the dole or something. Yeah, you can work at Tesco. Can you still do that? Yeah. Because we have, we have people that... Um, just like got a job at like Safeway or something like that, and that was it. Like work, no, no apprenticeship, nothing. No. Um, sure not. Yeah. I had a mate that went and worked at Safeway. That was my first paid job. Same. Was it? Three pound one an hour. I, was I got. I got. I, my first job was at Safeway. And I got three pound fifty seven an hour. I was a pit, um, packer and porter. They called it. Packer and Porter? Packer and Porter. I used to pack up the, uh, the, the shopping, take it to your car. I used to do a couple of things. I did changing over the labels. Do you remember the little labels yeah, in there for yeah. the price changing? So I did that and I did... Facing up? Facing up, yeah. <laughs> and I did on, mate, check, eh? check out. See? Check out, yeah. Check out. I did it all, mate. I, I, I could do it all. Food's here. Yeah. See you later, Adam. See you later, yeah.